In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a spinning top um, using Onshape and specifically using the Revolve tool. Um, so I'm at the main um, home screen with all my uh, folders and documents, and I will select Create, and I'm going to create a new document. I'm just going to call this spinning top. Um, once we're in the um, design screen, um, for the spinning top, I am going to choose to design on the front plane um, because I found that this is easier um, looking as if I'm looking um, head on. Um, so I'm going to start by creating a sketch and I'll select the front plane. Um, I also find that it's easiest if I'm viewing that directly. So I'm going to click on the front of the view cube. So I've selected the front plane. Um, the next step will be to draw half of the profile I am going to revolve. So if you were to take the object and if you were to just draw a sketch and look at it from the side and then cut that in half, um, this will make sense as I begin drawing. So I'm just going to use my line tool up here and I'm going to start by drawing a center line. So I'm going to click up at the top and down at the bottom. Okay, there's my center line. I can hit escape to leave the line tool. Um, and then um, the next part, I'm going to draw the shape, the basic shape um, that I want to revolve. The key will be to not go over, not extend past that center line. Otherwise, it will not be able to revolve. So I'm going to use the line tool again. And I'm just going to choose, I'm just clicking and drawing some points out. There are a number of ways that you can do this. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to come into there. I'm going to go up. And then this is kind of the, the spindle. So let's say I want to come out to here, back to here, and to the end point. So now I'm going to hit Escape. So I have a closed shape um, uh, that's roughly this the half of um, my um, spinning top that I want to create. So I will click the green check mark. The next step will be the revolve tool. And it's this one here that looks kind of like a donut that somebody took a bite out of. Uh, so I'm going to select the revolve tool. And the first thing it asks me is to select the faces and sketch regions to revolve. I want to revolve this entire shape. So I'm going to select that. And then it asks me to choose the axis that I want to revolve around. And I will choose this, um, I'm going to select that box. And I'm going to choose this line that we drew at the very beginning and select it there. As soon as I do that, the revolve tool is going to go ahead and revolve 360 degrees around. And if I rotate to the side, you can see my spinning top. Um, if I wanted to make some refinements or adjustments to the sketch, I can go, I'm going to go ahead and close the revolve so that there's my object complete. I could go back into the sketch and edit, like if I wanted to um, maybe move a couple of these points out a little bit um, or make any adjustments to the sketch, I could do that. And then that change would take effect in the shape that I just made. So that is one way that you can make a... Um, spinning top. I'm going to show you one other way and I'm still going to use the revolve tool but I'm just going to create a new part studio. Um, create. So I've got one part studio. I'm just going to create another one so we have a, a blank workspace. Again I'll start from the front. I'm going to select the front plane. I'm going to choose sketch. I want to be able to view that in the front. There we go. Um, this time, well, I am going to start with a line again. I'm just going to draw my center line all the way down like that. Hit escape to, to leave it. Um, this time, I'm going to use the spline tool um, because it allows me to do a more, I don't know, curvy shape. Um, and I'm just going to select a, a point on the, um, the center line. And I'm going to drag out this way. Now, again, I'm very careful not to over. Um, go over that center line, but I'm kind of coming up and you can see that the spline tool kind of is more, um, it, it, it's a, I don't know, more flexible shape. I know there's a scientific word for that, but we're just going to go with this right now. Um, there we go. 
Let's see if I want to finish up. Now, if I wanted to finish this line right here, I could do that. I'm just going to double click to finish this line. Now, I cannot revolve this yet because I do not have a solid shape. But I'm going to complete my shape by using the line tool. So I'm going to just connect from here over to my center line. Um, and I could just end it there, actually, because I already have the midline. I don't need to redraw it. So now I have a closed shape. And you can tell it's a closed shape because this center is gray. Um, so I can go ahead and do that. Same thing as before. I'm going to choose the revolve. I'm going to select the shape that I want to revolve. I'm going to select the axis that I want to revolve around. And there we go. So we have a different shape. Now this one, I don't know how much, I don't know if that will spin very well. It's not very pointy on the end. It, it um, might need more of a point. But that is another way that you can um, draw and make a spinning top. So there we go. That's how you make a spinning top. Two different methods that you can use. Um, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to this first one just to show you a couple other things. If I wanted to make some changes to this um, spinning top. Maybe I wanted to um, add some cutaways or something like that. I'm going to click on the top and sketch. Um, selecting the top plane and actually I'm going to select this surface right here. So I've selected right there. Um, and then I want to um, I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to use the line tool. And I'm just going to start on the outside. And I'm going to go in and out and close. So I'm kind of doing a little, little cutaway. I'm going to escape out there. I'm not leaving the shape. I'm just um, uh, leaving that tool. All right. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use this linear pattern. And I'm going to choose circular pattern from that. And I want to create a circular pattern of this little shape here. It's because I want to repeat this multiple times. Um, I actually want to do it more than three times. Let's try eight times. Oops, I need to double click that in order to change that to eight. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's going to allow me to, to put that all the way around my shape. I'm going to click OK. So now I have the same shape all the way around, and I'm going to use the extrude tool here, and I'm going to remove, and I'm going to use this to remove just this part right here. And I want to do all of these, and I want to oh, just like that one. There we go. There we go. Click merge with all. I'm going to cut through so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. I'm cutting through. So I select the merge with all. The depth doesn't really matter because I just want to go all the way through. And so as long as it's um, a big enough number to go all the way through the shape, I'm all set. So there we go. So now I've added a little modification. Now I don't know if that's going to help it or not help it spin. Um, that's something for uh, for you to decide, and maybe you would print a few variations and then test it out and see which one spins the best. Um, but those are just some options for creating a spinning top in Onshape.